Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. We are joined again with our friend Kathy Kilborn from Tri-City Furniture for another edition of Design Time, a fairly new segment we've started here on WNEM. And uh, if you were with us last time, you likely heard about the uh, spring discussion we had about different types of sofas and what's inside of them and how they're made. Kathy is going to sort of continue that today, except we're going to yes. talk about the wood frame, right? Yes. And, and why that's important. Yes. In the old days, um, maybe 40, 50, years ago they would actually just put um, cut a piece of wood and make the different parts of the frame uh, we had problems with wood cracking as it dried out or it was split so today they're using engineered wood and I don't know if you can see it but it's many layers of wood mm -hmm. put together and they use the wood in different directions so you'll have grain running both directions you eliminate expansion and contraction mm -hmm. and it causes the frame to be much stronger. These are all cut out with a, a unit that's called a CNC uh, computer and they can cut out a whole frame computerized and out of one piece of plywood wow. um, like this kind of unit. Mm -hmm. um, then they use uh, these dowels in each of the joints with glue and it makes this, the unit very very strong. The comparison to this would be that many manufacturers still use part board. Uh, they, they really have very limited amount of glues and dowels. They might staple frames together mm -hmm. because it's all about quick and low price. If you really want something to last, you need to have a lot more construction in the in parts, the corner parts of this unit so that when somebody plops down on a sofa, it can take the brunt of that. Yeah. Um, many manufacturers use cardboard inside mm -hmm. the frame. So you wonder why you might hear a crunch if you sat on the arm of a sofa, that's the problem. The other part of framing that's real important is the kind of legs. And I just wanted to show you many companies use just a leg screwed in. Right. If you have something like that and you move your sofa around a lot, you want to actually tighten it up every so often, people will have it loose and then it'll break off. Okay. But the better solution would be where they actually, it's a solid wood piece, not plastic, and it's screwed in with four um, nails or screws and it's put right into the frame. This is another style and it's screwed in. Very, very important because the leg is the foundation and actually keeps that whole frame nice and solid. Sure. All right, Kathy. Great tips. I always learn so much from you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. For joining us and uh, we'll uh, have Kathy join us again next week for another segment of Design Time here on TV5 News at 9.